How are you? I'm fine. Are you comfortable? Yes. Shall we begin the interview? Yeah, sure. Okay, let me first introduce myself. My name is Hina and I will be taking your IELTS interview. I will begin with the introductory part where I will ask some question related to your life. Firstly, tell me your full name. My name is Vikas Mittal. How may I call you? You may address me with my first name Vikas. Can I see your ID? Yes, uh, you can see my passport. Vikas, do you study or you work? I'm pursuing my masters in economics from Government College Karnal. Vikas, now I will ask some question about your hobbies. What are your hobbies? I love playing badminton and cricket with my siblings in my free time. I also enjoy watching Hollywood and Bollywood movies at weekends. I have little interest in cooking as well because I'm a food lover and I make something special on every Sunday by watching some videos on YouTube. How have your hobbies changed over recent years? Well, there is no big difference in my hobbies now and five years ago. I still play the same outdoor games and I'm addicted to watching TV like before. I can say that I have developed new habits but I have not left the old ones. Do you get enough time to pursue your hobbies? Being a student, it is difficult for me to find sufficient spare time during weekdays. I try to utilize my time in studies as much as possible. But I make sure that I do not involve in intensive studies on Saturdays and Sundays to keep a perfect balance in work and fun. Do you find your hobbies constructive? I think that involving in sports activities is quite helpful for my health and fitness. And because of my cooking interest, everyone in my family gets to eat something new and delicious. Yes, sometimes I feel that I should stop watching movies because they cause distraction from studies and it is quite addictive activity. What new do you want to have as your laser time activities? Mm, one of my teachers gave me a collection of motivational audios and videos. They can be extremely beneficial in improving my overall personality and performance in studies. That's why I want to develop a habit of watching and listening to this stuff on a regular basis in my free time. This is the end of part 1. Let's move on part 2 which is a cue card. You will be given a topic. You can make notes for 1 minute. Then you have to speak for 1 to 2 minutes. Your topic is Tell about your favorite TV show. What it is. What it is about. What you like about it. Explain why such programs are important. Here is the pencil and paper for notes. There are a couple of TV programs that I really enjoy watching. But the one I like the most is the Kapil Sharma show. Which is quite popular in my country these days. It is featured on Sony TV channel at every weekend. Basically, it is a talk show hosted by famous comedian turned actor Mr. Kapil Sharma. Other known celebrities appear on the show for the promotion of their movies and programs. They involve in humorous question and answer session and hilarious activities with the host as well as some other interesting characters. What I like the most in the show is the creative and funny characters such as Mashur Gulati. Bumper and many others. They keep on pulling legs of one another and entertain both guests and viewers with their hilarious remarks and acts. I am sure that no one can resist laughing while watching it. Kapil Sharma himself is a highly talented and witty person who works really hard in maintaining the high comedy standards of the show. Well-known former cricketer and current politician Navjot Singh Sidhu also features in all the episodes and adds spice in it with his wide range of poetry. 
this program is a real stress buster in this era of hectic lifestyle it makes people laugh so much that they start feeling pain in their stomach everyone knows the benefits of laughter and such form of entertainment is the best way to do it that's why such tv shows should be more in number in my view now i will ask some follow up questions what is the importance of tv in people's life it is undoubtedly the best and the cheapest source of entertainment in people's life and entertainment has become an important ingredient of life in this era of hectic lifestyle it is like a window to the world from which people keep watching what is happening around i must say that watching tv nowadays is as much important as taking food do you think that it has more negative effects than positives it is a debatable topic but i personally believe that it is working as a big distraction now for everyone especially students as excess of everything is bad young children and teenagers are becoming addicted to watching tv and waste their precious time which could be possibly utilized in more prior tasks watching tv is an addiction do you think it is true i have already mentioned that this activity is highly addictive once you get used to it it is extremely hard to avoid watching tv and focus other priorities majority of people find it hard to curb the temptation to watch cricket movies and soap operas despite their conscious efforts to avoid it there is a lot of inappropriate content shown on tv nowadays how can authorities deal with this sorry i couldn't get it could you please repeat there is a lot of inappropriate content shown on tv nowadays how can authorities deal with this It is true that some TV programs feature highly irrelevant and vulgar content which is not good for viewers there should be strict regulation on it and directors and producers should be discouraged to make such programs by means of heavy penalty and censorship most TV networks belong to bureaucrats and other rich people is it true that they try to misuse it for personal advantage well i'll not say that they clearly misuse this medium but yes they certainly manipulate the public with surrogate ads of liquor and tobacco and by means of showing news and programs which might benefit certain politician or party during elections things are not very fair inside as they look outside okay vikas this is the end of your speaking test thank you very much